And in this case, you are playing with your sniffer. You're going to be utilizing this quite a bit for all four of the games. <laughs> My wife, Callie, is a huge fan of essential oils. If you go into her room right now, it's going to smell of menthol and floral scents. She also likes to put it to them together and rub it onto her wrists so they smell good. But there's like this process you have to do, otherwise you burn yourself. I don't know. I like essential oils as well, but what I like them more in is board games. Aroma, a game of essence, is that game. It's a two to four player game, or should I say games, because there are four in this game, and everything here involved in the game is going to switch it up and change for the specific game you're playing. The game comes with four different, or I should say four sets of aromas or essential oils and 20 total essential oils that you can utilize in the game. You're going to be smelling your way to victory, tricking your opponents, using dexterity and smart thinking, as well as a kind of game of did I smell the correct oil or am I lying to you a type of game as well? I'll show you what everything comes with down below here. And if you are an essential oil lover, this is one I would definitely suggest you check out, especially because you'll beat the pants off of anybody who hasn't smelled them before. So I'm not going to go into detail on all four games, but what I will do is explain what you get in this game. And I will talk about two of them, Discover and Survive. This is Aroma. A game of essence and uh, as you see you're going to be getting 20 different types of the essential oils there's plant-based ones the trees citrus and floral with anything that goes from pine all the way to clary sage and how it works is pretty simple you'll be choosing a game to play and right now i have this one set up for survive and then you're going to be assigning a uh, items based on the number of players. Like I said, it plays two to four players. And in this game here, you're gonna set it up with these points on this little tracker here. Each player is going to choose a color. They're gonna have this little point tracker they're trying to score up there. And they're also going to place these little tokens here in their little circles. Uh, and how it works is pretty simple. A player is going to take one of their randomly assigned essential oils. They're going to smell it and then choose a player. That player is then going to basically determine if that player is lying or not. I can say, oh, I smell this. It smells like Cypress. And then the next player would say, oh, you're wrong or oh, you're right. And based on what they choose, something unique will happen. If they are correct in guessing that you are correct in guessing, then they'll score points. If they think you're wrong and you're right, then in fact, they'll get nothing and you'll get a point. If they think you're wrong and you are wrong they'll have a chance to take on the smell themselves for double or nothing or they can just simply score a point regardless though if this is guessed it's going to go off to the side and if for instance it was lavender a token would be placed on that specific uh on that specific area on the board here and then you're going to be limited to four more and that's another way the game can end one way is obviously your board gets filled another way is if your token reaches the center of the board before anybody else's aka scoring five points and the game will just progress going along uh, the rounds in which everybody's gonna have a chance to basically try and trick their opponents into uh, assuming a smell that may not be a smell or if you want you can believe them and how I like to play this game specifically is people have to guess the smell if they know it so they have to smell it and they have to tell you the truth if they can uh, but they don't have they can do it in any way they want they can say oh I think this is pine even though they are certain that it is pine so there can still be a little trickery and bluffing involved but you can play it as you will let's go ahead and talk about survive now Welcome to the game Survive. And in this one, these setups are actually pretty interesting. All of these essential oils will go into the middle of the board here, forming a plus sign. And players are going to dexterously take a random oil from the middle, place it in one of their spaces after looking at it, determining what number it is and what type of essential oil it is, and then placing it into a spot and assigning one of their tokens to that spot based on the type of oil that it is. So if this is rose germanium, geranium, you'll simply go ahead and place this here, take this token and place it next to it. Thusly, you will know what each of your essential oils are by the time the setup is done. Everybody should do this and they should go one at a time uh, attempting to gather these tokens and placing them into their spaces. Everybody's going to have their player token. They should have all five of these tokens next to the oils and of course their little boards here which will illustrate what options they have in the game. You can also of course see them here on your board. After the setup is complete, now you're going to do the fun part, player elimination. On your turn, you'll select one of the other players. You will then take one of their little uh, 
essential oils by placing your token next to that oil. The other player is going to look and remember exactly what type of oil it is. So in this case, rosemary. And then you will take this and you will smell this essential oil. And if you can deduce what it is, you'll remove this from the game along with this token. And then it will pass to the next player. And the next player will have an opportunity to smell somebody else's essential oil. Uh, the only rule is you can't choose the same player twice in a row. If I chose this player last round, then I cannot choose this player again, unless this is the last player left remaining. And if you run out of these tokens, you are eliminated from the game. You can use your tokens to illustrate which one you want to smell. And obviously you're trying to be the last player standing in this game. It's actually a game that kind of utilizes your senses and you have to deduce exactly what the smells are to be the last player. Now, of course, some of these smells may be a little more tricky than others, but that goes into play with the dexterity aspect of the game. These are just two of the four games you can play with the Aroma game. Let's come up and discuss my review of these guys here. I've played all of them, so we can talk a little bit about them, but I don't want to give too much information away, so you'll have something to talk about while you decide to purchase the game. Link in the description. So this is a unique game. It's about sniffing. I mean, there is one called Nyctophobia, I believe, in which you're playing blind. And in this case, you are playing with your sniffer. You're going to be utilizing this quite a bit for all four of the games, attempting to essentially figure out what each of the smells are. To be a perfectionist at this game, you need to know what the different smells are for each of the 20 different essential oils. Now, some of them obviously smell very similar to each other, but that's kind of the point, to try and trick more advanced players. And uh, you're also going to be learning. You're going to be learning the different smells of all the aromas. I've actually pretty much played this game enough times to gauge most of what all the oils are. Now, of course, I get some of them mixed up, and I don't remember all of them. There's uh, Ylang Lang and something like um, Bergamot. I'm still not, like, really sure about those ones, but I've, I've gained a lot of knowledge when it comes to learning about essential oil smells, which is really cool, actually. In fact, it's given me more of an appreciation for essential oils. The games are a lot of fun. We'll talk about the two I discussed briefly. Uh, the first one in which you're basically trying to determine whether a player is lying or not. It's kind of one of those games from The Princess's Bride where it's like, if you did the thing, I did the thing, then you must be lying about this. You can kind of to do that in the game, try to determine, is the player lying? Do they know the smell? And that's why I like including the fact that they must be honest, but they can be honest in a weird way if they want. I think it's this one. I'm not 100% sure. So they can lie about whether they're 100% sure or not, but they have to at least try and guess the oil. And that makes it a lot of fun because you can go, well, I think Callie knows the smell of lime. She said it's lime, so I'm going to guess that it is lime. Um, but at the same time, she might be wrong. It might be some other citrus, like grapefruit. They, they do smell similar, especially after smelling a lot of the smells over and over again going through them throughout the game your your nose can be tricked all on its own so you kind of have to clear the nostril and get ready and prepare yourself for the next scent and this one here has that unique bluffing sense where you're you're kind of getting bluffed yourself because of all the smells you're smelling and at the same time you're trying to hope your opponent chooses the exact opposite of whatever you choose um so if you don't know what it is and they think you do that's good for you and if you do know what it is and they think you don't it's good for you as well and uh, scoring points. It's a very simple, straightforward game. The, the next one is you're gathering them from the middle of the board, placing them down. You know what your oils are, but not what everybody else's oils are, and you're trying to basically eliminate players. It changes the game completely. Now you are selecting a player to be eliminated. Maybe you want to go after the player whose super sniffer is the best, uh, but you're also limited by choosing that player once every other round. So you can't just, everybody can't go for the same player over and over again. They're not going to get out the first two rounds. They'll have to, they'll get at least an opportunity to eh, get two or three people's oils. So and choose certain players to pick on depending on how well they're doing, which makes it kind of its own balancing act. Oh, this player is devastatingly, you know, it is very far ahead. We need to focus on that player or, or that player is very good at sniffing. And so we need to deal with that player. And that's kind of the idea of that game. And then there's another one where you're adding five aromas in front of you. You're going to smell them. You're going to gauge what they are, pass it along and pass. And the, everybody's going to do that constantly going around the board. And you're going to be scoring points as you tally them up based on how well you do throughout the two rounds of the game. Another thing that's kind of interesting too is determining who goes first in this game or games. Each of them is a unique way of doing it. Whether you're stacking cubes on top of each other and obviously trying to get the highest cube before it falls or whether you're dropping cubes on the board in order to land all in the center ring and whoever does them at the 
most is going to score the most points, thusly allowing them to go first. Some unique little mini games for going first. They're a lot of fun as opposed to the last player to smell an essential oil or the last player to use a humidifier. I mean, those are fine ways to do it, but I just like the little added dexterity aspect to each of the games, and they are all unique in their own way. All the games play a little differently, but in essence, like that one, they are all fairly similar. Your objective is to smell the oils, figure out what they are, and then score points accordingly, uh, whether using deception or whether just simply moving around the board trying to eliminate players. Now there's a social aspect to the game, which is nice, or games I should say, and that will actually keep you in the game if you're a more novice player or if you're a more advanced player, depending on how you want to play the game. Some of them allow you to lie and some trick your opponents, pretend like you don't know what their things are, and you can kind of do that depending on the game that you're playing. Uh, I like games that involve my sense of smell. I'm very good at smelling things, so I've gained a lot of knowledge playing this game. I can see players not enjoying this game. If you have a terrible nose or, or no nose or you know, your nostrils are constantly being you know, filled up, whatever, whatever, you know what I mean? Like It's hard to smell. So a lot of my friends are like that. It's probably not going to be the game for you, but it, it might be because maybe this will get you into, you know, practicing your sense of smell. I don't know, is that a thing? Practicing your sense of smell? <laughs> Overall though, this is a lot of fun. Uh, all the games are unique and different in their own ways and they have their own fun little aspects to them. Uh, I've played this, we did a little bit on the live stream just practicing on smelling this, the scents and then we've also played this multiple times for all the different game modes. We thought we were only going to play them all maybe once or twice, but in fact we played each of the game modes multiple times because we had such a great time with them. If you're a fan of essential oils and you also like games, this is going to be a good way to intermix the two. And if your friends are not as big into essential oils, but they like games, you can kind of draw them in or vice versa. Maybe you got a, 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 a gal friend who's very much into like essential oils and yoga and crystal therapy, that kind of thing. And so you're like, look what I got, aroma. C c come join me or you know your gamer buddy who's sitting there playing constantly on the video games and you're like how am i going to get him into in, into doing this stuff that's why i do a lot of yoga now my wife's got me into essential oils and yoga because um she's she's managed to combine the two in, in certain ways and this is another great way to do that a solid game overall really enjoyed this one i like using my sense of smell and if you do too check out aroma uh the a game of essence it'll be down down below in in, in the description Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. If you like this video, check out the rest of our videos here on YouTube, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification button, as well as comment below if Aroma is a game that you would be interested in. You can check out our website, unfilteredgamer.com, blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more, where you can find some great stuff like our holiday gift guide and our secret Santa, as well as our top 10 lists of the games of the year, our favorite games we reviewed, so on and so forth. Check out our live streams. It's every Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. PST, which is today, actually, if you're watching this video when it releases. And we play games just like this one here. Join our Patreon and our Discord, of course. It does greatly help us. And, of course, do check out games like this one here. It keeps us doing business for you. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I look forward to sniffing some essences with you next time. Sniffing essences. Essential oils? <sighs> eh, we'll just use that one.